Hey everyone, remember that APU machine demo from my last video? I'm glad a lot of people are interested. This is the, the post submission statistics. Thank you all. Well, today I'm diving deep into the details to show you exactly how to set it up. So if you've been waiting for this, buckle up because we are about to get technical. Both things first, let's talk about uh, requirements. For hardware, you'll need an um, APU. I recommend uh, the 4600G, 5600G, or the 5700G, but uh, others might uh, also work. You need to pair that with um, AM4 motherboard. I have tested a few systems, and uh, I'm listing them here. But remember, your results might vary. On the operating system, you are gonna need uh, Linux. I am using Ubuntu in this guide, both 20.04 or 22.04 work. All right, now let's dive into the BIOS settings. This is the key part. Once you power on your computer, you will need to quickly enter the BIOS mode. If you are not sure how to enter it, please do a Google search on how to do that. Usually, you would need to press F2 or deletion key. Once you are inside the BIOS, make sure to enable the above 4G encoding and the, the auto resize bar support. You will need also to find the settings to choose your primary graphics. Go with the integrated GPU. Now for the frame buffer size, you will get options like R2, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 gigabytes. If you don't see the 8 or 16 gigabytes option, consider updating your BIOS version. For this guide, we are going with the 16 gigabytes. Allocating that 16 gigabytes as dedicated RAM to the iGPU. So that concludes our BIOS settings. So after you are done with the BIOS setting, great, let's confirm everything set up correctly. Do a normal boot, open your terminal and execute this command. This will check the amount of RAM for your GPU. As you can see here, I have 16 gigabytes showed up. Congratulations if you see that also, you have made a 16 gigabytes VRAM GPU. Now you might be wondering, why did this work? I will break down the magic behind uh, this setup. My theory is that uh, the Linux is treating this uh, APU as a like, discrete GPU instead of an um, integrated GPU. So like anything working for the discrete GPU also work for this uh, APU GPU. Next, I will talk about uh, how to improve it. So how to make a GPU like bigger than 16 gigabytes of VRAM and how to make it perform faster. Here I listed uh, several options. First of all, your motherboard BIOS version. I'm hoping that uh, the motherboard manufacturer can update their firmware, which make it uh, possible to allocate uh, more than 16 gigabytes of RAM to the integrated uh, GPU. So secondly, we would uh, rely on the Linux uh, operating system maintainer and developer to make some improvement so that uh, it uh, can treat the APU as integrated GPU and uh, allow dynamic allocation of RAM, which make it possible to allocate more than 16 gigabytes 
of RAM to the iGPU. Lastly, about the performance, if you want to uh, make it possible to run faster, you can do some memory overclocking. By increasing the speed of your RAM, you can significantly boost the performance of your iGPU. But remember, always ensure you are following safe overclocking practice. We do not want any fried components, do we? Now, for the next steps, I want you to start using your GPU as if it's a regular 16GB VRAM AMD GPU. Trust me, it's simpler than it sounds. I've compiled all the video links and uh, listed them down in the description below for my previous step-by-step uh, -step tutorial. Just uh, click, watch, and learn. And you will be on your way to mastering your new GPU in no time. Lastly, I wanted to mention that uh, I also made an uh, article that including the detailed instruction for toning the APU into discrete uh, GPU and also the following steps like uh, installing RCM, installing PyTorch and different uh, AI applications and make them into a website. It's uh, open sourced on GitHub. I will include uh, the link down in the description. Make sure you check it out. And also, I welcoming any contributions. So it's a open source project. The goal is to make a AGI AI available to everyone. I'm hoping that uh, people can make a contribution to that. And I look forward to what you can do about it. All right, so stay tuned. And if you found this uh, tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit uh, the like button and uh, subscribe for more deep dives. Goodbye.